I'm retired specialist JP Lane. I'm a 12 Bravo combat engineer and Purple Heart recipient after losing both my legs in Afghanistan. Never give up, never surrender. Have you all heard that before? Ooh. My job in Afghanistan was searching for IEDs, uh, doing route clearance, and needless to say, I was blown up a few times, and the last one ended up getting me. The recovery process was extremely painful, even though the doctors and therapists would tell me I wouldn't be able to use prosthetics or it would be a long journey learning how to walk again. I defied those odds and pushed through and continued to remind myself one of the things that the Army taught me was never give up, never surrender. It's a blessing getting to travel with my wife, Crystal, and, it, babe. and do this. The only goals we have is just inspiring people now. When people tell you you can't accomplish something, go out there and prove them wrong. The advice that I have for cadets is know who you are and build the foundation that you have that helps you not only be a better person every single day, but also be the best soldier you could possibly be. So if anything does happen that is tragic or seems difficult that you may face in this life, you'll be able to overcome. We don't go to war with one soldier. We go to war with an entire uh, group of soldiers, companies, battalions, the entire army. We're there working together as one team, one fight. So why should I be battling the war within with just one soldier by myself? I shouldn't. I need to have my battle buddies, my family members there and encourage me and lift me up in my moments of weakness because we shouldn't be fighting this war alone. What leg? <laughs> I'm missing those. It's funny, the cadets will literally say, oh, I can't do this, and then I walk up right next to them, I'm like, yeah, I think you can, because I'm about to do it. I'm broken. <laughs> <laughs> I need a mechanic. <laughs> they are blown away, no pun intended, or maybe pun intended, I don't know. It's really funny to get their shocked reaction like, oh, oh yeah, I guess I can do it. I guess he's gonna do it, I can do it. So it's really fun just to challenge them. We were out here today doing the obstacle course with a bunch of cadets that were kicking butt out here, getting it done, and I just had to be out here and show them how it's done. I get to tell them how the Army is, how well they took care of me, how they are like a big family and that everything they, they go through and learn from joining the Army, they are gonna be able to grow and be so much better for the rest of their lives because of the experiences and the knowledge and everything that they learn. It's awesome to get to be a part of that. Get up, get up. And hopefully be a walking example of that. All the way up. <laughs> knowing in the back of their head that they've seen somebody who has done so much, has a smile on his face, there's nothing stopping them from living their best life, just like I am. I'm Jamie Lane, that's my story, now I'm 62.